Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queen's Messy Mondays. Joining us now is a multimedia powerhouse and the CEO of Hollywood Unlocked and Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. Please welcome Jason Lee. Yeah. How are you? Come on, Jason. Come through. Listen. I have not dressed up for Halloween and I don't know how long. They said to wear a damn costume. I'm like, I'm going to go as Jason. Let us see. Perfect. Then there's that. <laughs> right. You are a killer. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't see him, guys. Can you guys see him? There he is. Oh, yes. Yes. Hey. Hey, Beard. Hey, Curls. Hey. Hey. Wait a few lost. You don't, you, you, don't lie. you don't melt it away. Look at you. Okay. Man, I lost wow. 76 pounds so far. Ooh. Wow. I'm out. I'm out here in these streets, knocking them down. Now my, I, I ain't got OnlyFans, oh, right. but my Tinder is lit. Oh, <laughs> hey, Jason, you gonna start an OnlyFans? Oop, did I mess? Up? Nah, you know this is the thing. I just, I, after watching how many people get their tea spilled every day, I don't want my tea spilled like that. I'm cool. Oh, please. Okay, right. Even, He's saying not, that this week. No, nah, right. I don't even. I don't even let phones in the bedroom. Like for real. I don't hey, even let phones. Talk. Jason, oh, yeah. when you say knocking them down more now, I, I we used to really hang a lot together back in the day. So when you say knock them down more now, what <laughs> level would you say you're on? Like what kind of numbers are we doing? No, and, I, and the last time you went to, to, to Washington Heights. What it ain't like when you used to go to the club with me and help me peel the straight guys. It's not like that. You know what I mean? Like it's COVID, so I'm trying to be somewhat responsible. But I just on my show, I just recently said like if you do hook up with somebody now and you do catch COVID and make it through, God meant for y'all to be together because you didn't survive some shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, when, when COVID's that's, over, that, that, that's what some folks, some people, they're tearing, into, tearing them apart. Well, divorces and everything at an all time high. Yeah. yeah, but that COVID is just an excuse. You He, he wasn't shit, you weren't shit, it, the relationship <laughs> wasn't shit. You know what I mean? Like you're using COVID. Much time together. So now that they're on top of each other, it's like, wait a minute, I, I don't like you that much to be with you like this. Maybe like this, right. but not like that. Right. No, but I recently <laughs> just went on a date with this guy. He's Russian and Greek, which is the first with green eyes, a beard. He's sexy as hell. And he was, I was saying to him, you know, because I'm I'm trying to approach these new these guys with these new ideas. Like we got to be innovative. You know what I mean? Like a relationship doesn't have to be with two people anymore. It can be with three people. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I, no, 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 no. But listen, it's I'm saying, I, I no, said to Jason, him, I said, sisters, no, we're not doing threesomes. I no. said, no, no, but that's the thing, Vivica. That's why I said, like, we don't have to do threesomes. Like we can live together. Y'all can share a room and I have a room. And then we decide the sleeping arrangements on a day-to-day -day basis, because I think life could be a oh, lot easier if we work Lord. as a team. You know, absolutely not. That seems like a lot of work. That seems like a lot to do. That seems like you, you know, don't know how to commit. That's right. what that's we know like. you, you don't, you don't you know what you want. Wait a minute. Jason, 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 Jason be in love like a motherfucker, and then two weeks later, he's not. Exactly. No, 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 no. That's not the thing. See, I love hard. But 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 LA is hard to love because yeah, you gotta love hard because if you're soft, it ain't gonna work. That's right. Well, <laughs> well, it depends because my friend do got these pills from China. Listen, he sent them to me. It's a red pill, a blue pill, and a black oh pill. Oh my now, God, don't you start. Are we talking about pills? No, 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 wait. no, no I know, you I know will this not, baby. We'll let I you know, have a drink, but you ain't popping no pills on cocktail no, point. No, I know this is a tough pill to swallow, but look, the blue what? pill... The blue pill is if you want to go for two hours. The red pill is if you want to go for four hours. And the black pill is if you want to have group fun for the whole day. So, what pills are these? Oh, Matrix. I got them. Pills from the Matrix? No, they came from China. You know, they probably was on the same boat with COVID. I don't know. I'll text you my address after the show. Oh, what yeah. in now, the illegal drugs is going on here? Claudia, I've, I've been watching you. Claudia, I've been watching your Instagram. Moderation is key, Jason. <laughs> no, say? for sure. Yes. For sure. Claudia, I've been watching your Instagram. I know your man is blowing that thing out because you look good and he look good. And I I, I looked at a picture y'all had on some brown the other day or something. I'm like, oh, I know that sex is good. Oh, you know what? Not bad. I'm going to jump right in here. I'm going to jump right in, Jason, because here's this is what you do. Yeah. You have made a name for yourself doing this right here. Yeah. <laughs> Reporting celebrity news. You know what I mean? From Hollywood Unlocked, Hollywood Unlocked, Uncensored, you are the brand. Yeah. Well, what made you figure, well, what, how did you figure out that this is how you wanted to report the news? This is how messy you wanted to be. This is how <laughs> controversial you wanted to be. And you can't give a damn because 
you are successful at doing it and you're doing it more and more and more. So what made you just clamp down and say, this is what my lane is going to be? So I was trying, like for a long time, I was friends with a lot of people like, you know, Claudia and different folks. And I was in the background kind of helping to orchestrate things. And when I had left my job, I came to LA and trying to figure it out would make 10% off of hooking people up. And then I, I, I wanted 90%. I didn't want 10% no more. And so I started trying to figure out what to do. And when I saw the boom of the blog and digital media, I launched this brand called lowkeymessy.com, scared the mm-hmm. hell out of Hollywood. And it wasn't the reaction I wanted. So I was like, you know, maybe that, maybe I'm going a little too hard. So let me launch Hollywood Unlocked and kind of unlock and open Hollywood Unlocked, take people behind the scenes of their best of the parties with their favorite stars. And then the industry, I was just having lunch with Amber Rose telling her the industry kind of made me who I am because when I had one idea of trying to open up the industry for fans, celebrities shut down. And then once I said something crazy about a celebrity and the world opened up, I was like, well, shit, there you go. And so uh, the uncensored part is really just me getting a microphone and just talking how I would talk with Claudia or one of you all. And I think it's the thing that makes this show so successful because you all literally say whatever you think and it feels real and authentic and it connects with the audience. So it was easy for me. You're definitely natural, Jason. You're definitely natural. I told you a long time ago, you're definitely a natural at this. We tried to do a show back in the day and then Charlemagne got that deal with uh, his morning show. But you, um, I'm glad to see you excelling in your lane. Thank you. Uh, Jason, what I've known of you though, see, you don't fool me though. Cause see, you really are- I know that's right a sweetheart and like a big like teddy bear like you are a really good dude like i know that you have a you 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 out here getting the people together but you really are a nice guy now i, I want to know oh he used to be a piece okay wait wait a minute now i want to know though when you run up on the people but what the people run up on you that you've been dishing the tea on what is that like now i saw you down to the uh loving hip-hop and it didn't go well what happens when you then dish the tea down to the people and then they see you face to face? Well, I told this story once on my show about Odell Beckham, you know, where he ran into me after I had uh, written a couple stories about him and he was really unhappy. And what'd you, you say know, about him? Uh, well, he was in the middle of tra- he was in the middle of uh, getting repair done to one of his injuries or whatever. He just got injured today too. Hope he's doing well. But uh, yeah, I mean, he on was ACL. in. Sp- yeah, he was supposed to be taking care of himself, and then there was a video that came out of him in bed with a girl in in Paris with some cocaine. Uh, he did. He wasn't dealing with the cocaine, but she was, but he was in the middle of negotiating a big contract. And so I put the story out and I mean, he was really, really upset and, you know, he attacked me at a party, whatever. He didn't hit me, you know, cause honestly they run up and they talk and they do all of that, but they don't really attack me physically because one, I will sue you Two, I do call the police. Three, I will definitely milk that for content for at least a month. And four, I'm gay. So if you're a straight man fighting with me in public, I'm going to tell my suck your dick. And it is what it is. And then you have to deal with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, well, listen, uh, well, that was as straight as it comes. I think you know. just gave well, all of us a shot. Why don't we just all have a drink to that? Because Jason Lee just kept that trill trip. Boom! Right. Yes, okay, boom. Wait, but to the point, Selena, you know what's so crazy is I really love people. I do, I always say like, I'm, I'm a cross between Wendy and Oprah with a penis because I do care about people, <laughs> but I do say it how it is. But I just promise you, like, people, they will go out, a man will go out and cheat on his wife publicly and then get mad at me for writing about it. I'm like, wait a minute, you, you, what, what happened to protect, what happened to protect black women? You just violated your girl. Now you mad at me. Okay. And people don't understand that you have a job to do. Like, really, you've created something for you, an avenue for you to be able to dish the news to people. And to be quite honest, they want to know about it. So, you know, why not hear it from yeah. you? So Jason, you uh, you had one of the biggest stories on Hollywood Unlocked, the you know the first entertainment blog to release one of the biggest headlines of date, which is the Jordan Woods Tristan Thompson scandal. How did you get that exclusive tea? What happened? Yeah, you know, no, one of my, one, my <laughs> editors, my editor, she was at Tristan's house for the party, and he's real oh. sloppy, you know, dirty dick nigga. You know how that go, right? So she was at the party. And that happened. And then so I called Larsa to give Chloe the heads up. But I'm going to tell you why I regret that. I don't regret breaking the story because it was big for our brand and everything. Right. What I regret is how Chloe's team really tried to gaslight me behind the scenes to keep digging at Jordan. Mm. Then to then to try to dig a hole to bury this girl and then go back and take the man back. Like to me, it was like I. What I yeah. latched on to was how would I feel if my friend was sleep with my my 
my sister's friend was sleeping with my man. That's betrayal led me to go hard on her like that. And I thought Jada Pinkett manipulated the hell out of her table. That blue, that red table was a mess. But she used that as a PR thing to kind of help Jordan, you know, when she was being a little hoe. And I felt like it, the betrayal was bad, but the way Chloe and them orchestrated behind the scenes and you and like gaslighted me and really, and then the minute they got back together, changing of the numbers and the no communication and all that, I said, okay, I got you. I get it. I you see did you. It to, you did but it didn't to Jordan. Just, didn't you know Jordan just kiss him, not sleep with him? And 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 as much as listen, Jason, we don't had our own experiences back in the day. Remember the whole Lamar thing and Chloe? Then they tried to orchestrate like it looked like a like someone was stolen from someone. Remember all that drama back in the day? Yeah. And no, the, for sure. No, for sure. But you know, somebody close to them had told me that they had been messing around for allegedly for a couple months. And that that was just, you know, the time where it was in, seen in public. When they got to the party, they took everybody's phones. Uh, and so nobody had their phones and she was sitting on I his lap one. and then he was all over her. Yeah. So but they really had something going but on. But here's the thing, what they're saying, they're saying that all of this happens to these girls because they have done it themselves several times over and over again. So that's what they will go around, come around. That's what they get. And, and yeah. it's like when people break out the receipts on reason. them, then it's like, you know, you know, this was the thing that everybody was like, how y'all going to do a sister like that when they're not as innocent as well, you know? Well, but we can just listen, listen. We can and go on and on and on. Whoever want to get mad at this can get the fuck mad if they want to. But I, listen, I like Kim Kardashian, but the, some of the girls in that family, they have definitely been with their friends, man. I'm going to talk Chloe and Trina. They was real close. And there was about a couple True of men. True there that. was Earth Montana. There was James Harden. There was a couple of them. I, there, 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 was, there was Justine Skye and the basketball boy with uh, with Kendall. It, it goes there. But that's the thing. I guess to Lisa Ray's point, where my optics were a little off is, like if I know you, Clyde, or I know you, Lisa Ray, or Vivica, or Selena, if I know you, or if I have an opinion of you because I've interacted with you, or I've seen you, and I, you know, I've, I've spent time with you, nobody can tell me who you are. Even if a story come out, I'm gonna put a different slant on it because of who I know you to be. Kim Kardashian, one of the biggest hustlers in the world, she took a situation and flipped it, mm -hmm. and you can say what you want about her. She's a brilliant uh, businesswoman. Mm -hmm. Now. Maybe my op maybe my lenses are a little cloudy because I'm so focused on that that I don't see. Yeah, that she was a hoe. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and so I come at it from a different way, and and that, and I get attacked all the time by fans who say, "Yo, you you just you you kissing the Kardashians' ass." But I'm like, "Yo, I just respect their hustle." But now, when I've had a chance to sit back and really look at the whole Jordan thing, I'm like, "Man, I I probably handled that wrong." And you know, but as, as black is. girls, we were like the same kind of judgment Energy. The, white, the white girls seem to get a, and the non-black women seem to get away with a lot of the stuff they can do all this stuff and it's called building their brand but when we do it it's we're hoochies we're hoes we're gold diggers and i think that's where a lot of us were like Ugh, with the joy and a lot of black women were protective of jordan so i'm glad you see the you know you you see it a different different way now we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more with jason lee with messy mondays contest with the queens right after yes the messy monday yeah. Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. We are here with the Pope. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. I don't have- That's all right. Start it again. Have a drink. That she was going okay. to say, po say the Pope, but I was going to say, I can't bless you if you don't have a penis. Ooh. You know what, Jason? We're going to let you have that one, okay? Yeah, right. We are here. Exactly, Lisa Ray. Pop <laughs> culture. <laughs> Mr. Messy himself, mm -hmm. Jason Lee. Now, Jason, you wrote a book, and a kudos to you, and your book is like, People love it. It has a lot of good stuff in it. You said God, the name of the book is God Must Have Forgotten About Me. You revealed a lot of things that your mom struggles with drug addiction and your father was emotionally and physically absent. Um, was it challenging for you to overcome all that? Because people at see you see you as such a confident guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have all of these like painful things that happen to you in your, uh, your upbringing, you know? So um, speak on that. Speak on being born. Yeah I, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you you decide to either be a victim or a survivor, right? I'm, I sure. decided to be a survivor. I used all of uh, what happened to me, molestation, abuse, abandonment, foster care, my brother getting murdered, me getting shot, all of that to just really fuel me to not be the stereotype that everybody always told me I was. My mom told me I wasn't going to be shit. The system told me I wasn't going to be shit. My teachers told me I wasn't going to be shit. 
I left high school on a GED because I was tired of dealing with people. I went to work. I got decent jobs that led to good careers that led to me becoming a, a self-made entrepreneur. And so at the end of the day, I look at like all of what I had gone through. It really became fuel to, uh, in fire under me to really become something. And then it wasn't until I did the book and did the tour and going out and talking to thousands of people that I was able to look at myself in photos and say, damn, I done packed on the weight carrying all these burdens. So now mm -hmm. I got I to gotta work on the physical and the mental part. And that became Came the beginning of my uh, transition. Good, Good for you. And you know what? It's like it, it, it's worked for you. You've been through trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. and now you too are going to have a show on Fox Soul, right? I'm excited. Yeah. Well, After tell us about it. Tell us about it. So we launched the podcast Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored about four years ago, and then we literally have become the Destiny's Child of podcasts. We've had different hosts come and go. <laughs> And, you know, it's one of those things where, like, you know, Destiny's Child, I'm a survivor, right? You right. know, we're going to keep it pushing. And so uh, You're now, <laughs> I am Beyonce. I mean, who the hell? I'm not going to be Michelle. What the hell I look like? You know what I mean? Like, uh oh. Ain't Farah. No, but I look. I love so, you. <laughs> uh -oh. I am just going to have a drink. Uh -oh. But I have, to, I have to shout out James DeBose because it's so crazy how God works. And people may not realize, like, yeah, I spill the tea and all that. But I, I'm a firm believer in God. Like, I wake up every day and thank God. I be driving through the streets thanking God. I met Queen Latifah 27 years ago, right when I came out of foster care, three days before I got shot. Ended up being, becoming friends with her. Uh, really looked at her as a light. Um, you know, that just, she was everything that I wanted to be in the terms of successful, inspirational, smart, you know, available where everybody else had not been. Then, then years later in my adult life, after having locked, uh, launched Hollywood Unlocked, met James DuBose, who leads Fox Soul at her office and we connected. And then, um, you know, we ultimately stayed in touch and, you know, I've been on Viacom for the last, I don't know, five years and they don't know how to take the right risk with black people. And BET is just so conservative. Those people over there, you do anything on BET, those church goers will show up and want to burn your shit down. So I love the fact that Fox Soul has created a space for us to have real conversations about the culture without fearing that Jesse Jackson going to show up with a walker and try to burn some shit down. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is absolutely true. I can't. I mean, I mean, I mean, you are absolutely right. And I'm glad you said it like that, too, because we don't take enough chance on ourselves, and we always got to go someplace else. And when we go someplace else, then they want to snatch us up. And then it's like, uh-uh, you didn't want to get too late. Too late. You know what I'm saying? Mm, but, right. but I'm glad that you're on Fox. So um, congratulations for yes. joining us on yeah, the network. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you know what? I know. Uh, Lena? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want oh, to no, you just I was just going to ask you, I know that you dished the tea and, you know, you're known for that. But what else do you want people to take away from your show? Yeah, I mean that, you know, we're we're taking a risk at being transparent, you know, transparency in this industry and in this world nowadays, especially with cancel culture, which is bullshit, is just fleeting. Like you can't comedians can't say nothing without yeah. being canceled. You know, women can't say anything without being canceled. It's just a it's just a crazy place. And so I'm literally going to keep pushing the line until I get canceled and then I'll create a, a show called Cancellation or something like that. You know, what <laughs> I mean? like, that's right. You know, because okay. it's just. I'm just going to always be honest and about what I think and what I feel. And it may not always add up, but to what everybody else thinks, but I have the opportunity and the platform to say that. Jason, one thing you are is very resilient and you will find a way. And like I said, you're good at what you do. So we wish you the best. Welcome to the Fox Soul family. Yes. Thank you. I'm excited. Jason, it's Wednesday. I have a question correct? For you. On Fox Soul this Wednesday? Friday. Yeah. Friday is at seven. Friday. Friday. Jason, who introduced you to Whitney Houston? So uh, when Kelly Price, we ain't cool no more either, but when Kelly oh, Price, I gotta go. okay, Kelly Price uh, wanted to do a party. I reached out to Raffles. He connected with Whitney. I brought Whitney to the party. She sang, then she died. You will hear more about these stories on Hollywood Unlock on Fox Soul Fridays at seven o'clock. The Fox Soul family, Mr. Jason Lee. Thank you so much. We salute you. Thank you. We gotta love you. <laughs>